It's not easy, but it's simple. So here's the truth. About 25% of the people that start college drop out after their first year. Of those that don't drop out, probably another 50 to 70% of them take on a major that isn't a good long-term investment. And of those that are in a major that can get a high paying job, I would estimate that another 50 to 75% of those students aren't willing to put in the correct effort to get one of those high paying jobs. Now I know that sounds obvious, but in reality, I don't think a lot of students understand the truth about how to get a good paying job after school. Now I know a lot of you are probably saying, I know what it takes. I get great grades. I'm doing good in school. I'm trying really hard in all my classes. And right now I'm sitting at like a 3.9 GPA. I'm doing good. I'm in a good major. And I'm going to get a great job when I graduate. Yeah, that's what I thought so too. I got good grades. I didn't have a 3.9, but I had pretty good grades. But as I started to apply to a few jobs here and there throughout my sophomore and junior years, I didn't get a single call back from the three or four or five internships I applied to. I was getting good grades. But what's, what was the problem? Well, I'll tell you what the problem was. I only applied to four positions. I don't know how you can expect to get a call back, get an interview, and get accepted when you only apply to four positions. Now, sure, maybe you have the perfect position in mind and you think you're going to get it and you know you're going to get it. But I wouldn't be so sure. I would always want to hedge my bets because this is one of the biggest investments at this point that you've made in your life and you really want to make the most of it, right? So for all you smarties that have taken and passed and paid attention in physics, you know that work is equal to something like force times distance traveled. I put in a lot of force in work, but I didn't go very far. I put in a lot of force and effort into those four applications. But again, I didn't go very far. I didn't apply to a lot of positions anywhere near enough. But what does that have to do with anything? Well, first of all, even if I did apply to a bunch of positions, I realized my resume really left a lot to be desired. Sure, I could say, yeah, I passed this regression course or I passed this data analytics course. But what else did I have to show? All I could show was, yeah, I passed this class. But what is that going to do for an employer? I mean, seriously, what was I expecting? I had no prior work experience. I had no self projects to show that I actually knew how to apply the skills that I learned in school. And I only applied to four freaking positions. Why was I expecting a callback? So instead of going through all this effort to get a good grades in your classes, here's what you can actually do to get a good paying job after you graduate. Oh, and by the way, real quick, I'm not saying don't focus on school and don't get good grades because it is important, but the number one factor in you getting a job is going to be real world experience and showing that you actually know how to apply the skills that you've learned. So start by doing some self projects or if you're in a major where that really doesn't make sense, try to think of something where you can show that you can apply the skills you've learned. For me, this was building projects around things that I enjoyed. I started with a predictive model on fantasy football scores. Figure out a way to make a self-project to make yourself stand out. And the second and most important part is try like hell to get some kind of work experience. It could be a research position at your school. It could be an internship. It could be a co-op. It could be some kind of part-time job. It could be anything. Just something that shows that you know how to apply those skills to real world problems. After that sophomore and junior year where I only applied to like four positions, the next summer I applied to over 100 internships and I ended up getting multiple offers. You need to do more than just a few applications in order to get one of these research positions or internships. And then finally, use this real world experience that you have with your self projects, the ones you're most proud of, and your work experience to leverage that and get a full-time offer after you graduate. And who knows, after one of these real world experiences where you're working as an intern or in a co-op, you might even get a full-time offer before you graduate. That's what happened for me. Last point, if you're going to spend all that effort trying to get good grades in college, you might as well do all the other things just as hard to try to get a high paying job after you graduate. Watch this video next if you want to hear more about my journey to get a good job after I graduated. See you over there.